The Sword and Shield era has come to an end and we're about to go into the era of Scarlet and Violet and the set is due to be released at the end of March but is it going to be worth it? Is this a good start? It's a base set they usually don't do very well they don't have the biggest best cards well we're going to be taking a look at all the different products and the single cards let's jump into it so Scarlet and Violet is due to be released at the end of March it did actually get pushed back which kind of means to me that they want to get some reprints out there before the MSRP goes up because it does go up with the release of Scarlet and Violet. I haven't really talked anything about Scarlet and Violet really. I kind of want to let Crown Zenith do its own thing right now. You know, Crown Zenith have been, you know, building up. It's now released. We've been opening up the product. Awesome. Now let's take a look at what's coming in the future. And the future does look pretty good to some extent. There are a few things that are coming out in Scarlet and Violet, which I wasn't really interested in. We have the return of EX cards, but we have these really cool full art craziness that has also been coming in this set. So let's take a look at the sealed product first. Okay, right, so this set, so Pokemon Skull and Violet, this set will feature double rare Pokemon EX, including two Terra Pokemons. Those are those crazy crystal style Pokemon. We have 12 ultra rare EX and eight ultra rare supporter cards as well. Then we have 24 illustration rare Pokemon and 10 special illustration rare Pokemon and support cards. So illustration rares are apparently the way to go. And then we have six hyper rare gold etch cards. Pretty crazy. No rainbows. They've they've done away with rainbows. Now they've got these you know illustration art rather than alt art as it were. Let's take a look at the different products. So, so these are the promos that you get in the ETBs. Now they're finally getting us promos in regular ETBs. I don't know how long I've been asking for that. So we have the Coridon and the Mirrodon in the two different ones, Scarlet and Violet. Now I have to Say guys i still have not yet done my playthrough of pokemon scarlet and violet i need to there's gonna be a ton of pokemon i don't even know what they're even called or what they even look like i really need to get on and play this game so apologies for that but we can still appreciate it so let's take a look so we have our oh, the chunk i definitely know that one so we have awesome looking etbs i'm not gonna lie i love the design of these these now come with more packs and a promo so i think they've kind of been you know listening out for us these are the pokemon center exclusive ones i love the colors not gonna lie red is my favorite but i gotta go for that purple one i'll go for that violet one that looks nice and you do get a bunch of different stuff in there we have the booster box as well now msrp is going up so we expect all of the products to go up in price at the end of march now we could be seeing other booster boxes from older sets maybe have a price hike but we'll have to wait and see on that one of course so we have the regular etbs for both of them again they both look really nice love the design of them and then we've got the pack arts of scarlet and violet now this is a base set i'm not gonna lie i'm not a massive fan of base sets but this one does look quite interesting so i always say best things to buy normally for the long haul for me personally i do like to collect the pokemon center etbs i kind of feel like they're a great you know long-term pickup and collection pickup rather than regular etbs and of course booster boxes i love collecting booster boxes that's my preferred method the fact is you get promos now in these etbs makes them a lot more valuable than they ever were okay on to the set list now all of these are in japanese because the full japanese set of both are now out but we can take a look and see if there's anything that's going to jump out at us that's really cool now we do have these ex cards as you can see here you know we have the regular exes again apologies i don't know all of these new pokemon so we're just going to appreciate the artwork and the design of the cards you know there might be a few of which we'll recognize now i'm not gonna lie i'm not a huge fan of exes uh you know exes were in the xy era xy era wasn't exactly a strong era for pokemon unfortunately you know looking back people like it now but at the time didn't do very well so we have arcanine did really you know does look really cool i do like myself an arcanine i <laughs> definitely know that one guys i definitely know that one then we have gyarados as well now these are the you know terror style uh, pokemon i think there's like two of them i think it's just those two in this set moving forward the artwork looks pretty good i have to admit you know just for these regular cards they're looking pretty cool you know we are going from full art v's which let's be honest look awesome you kind of like these three you know kind of like what one third art cards in the x's bit of a letdown i'm not gonna lie but i do like the fact that they have these illustration cards which we'll get to and uh i do like the sound of that so we've got the uh, myriadon uh, ex there that does look pretty cool i'm not gonna lie god of war oh i highly rate that as long as there's not mr mime i'm pretty happy i don't think i've seen one yet now this pokemon i think it's fido is it called fido love it look at this little doggy but yeah i mean it's got some really cool cards i'm appreciating the artwork i have to admit some of these new style pokemon look amazing lucario coming through definitely like the look of that one then we've got the Coridon, pretty nice there. We've got Toxicroak, not too bad. Right, let's see if we can get some really cool uh, cool ones. I think that's a different version of Donphan. Right, so Lechonk, there's my boy. Okay, there's quite a few Lechonks. Was that four Lechonk different artworks? Crazy. 
Then we got the, the uh, different trainer cards that we get in the set. Right, now we're coming into the secret rares. So we have a bunch of these. Now, this is what made it for me. If it was regular EXs, wouldn't care. But these look pretty cool so we have they're basically these are basically full arts i'm not gonna lie these are basically like full art v's the way they're designed very similar to what we already got already now these this arcanine and gyarados does look pretty sweet i'm not gonna lie i'd like to see that in the flesh because that looks pretty crazy personally i would like the uh, arcanine over the gyarados the rest of these though kind of look like full art v's in my opinion nothing too crazy about them then of course we've got the full art trainers i mean you know they're full art trainers I kind of get the feeling that the majority of the uh, female ones are probably really expensive in Japanese. Then we have these like crazy illustrator art cards. Now these, I have to admit, I think are awesome. Now you know me guys, I love simple style art. And I also like art that features mobile Pokemon. And these apparently tell a story. Some of these tell a story anyway. And uh, I do think it's pretty cool. Now let's take a look at all these. I do kind of rate them. You know, I love the look and the design of these. They look nice. And I don't know how easy they are to pull. If they're going to be like the Galarian Gallery or the Trainer Gallery, then, uh, you know, we could be seeing a lot of them being quite cheap, if I'm being perfectly honest. But we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully it'll be in the uh, kind of the reverse slot, you know, in the additional sub, like as basically like a subset. But we'll have have to wait and see when the uh you know when the packs come out and we just crack some but you know look at these i do like these i like that sand dial. that's pretty sweet the Ryolu is really nice as well but yeah i mean all of these look really nice i did see someone point out um i think it's like the story of the gardevoir because if we go back we can see it on like evolve with the family like telling the story and then uh, we've got the gardevoir hang on a minute what was that look at him he's looking at the mirror oh he's looking at all of the little bakery goods oh that's actually amazing i know that's through the window that looks amazing but yeah all of these look really nice i tell you what i really like the look of this um myriadon and that looks really nice i think these are gonna be really cool starlies are really cool as well then we've got the karai on that looks nice kind of alt arts basically these look like alt arts definitely these look more like alt arts than some of the others then we got these other trainers i would assume these will probably feature you know not in the main set but kind of like in the specialty subset then we got some gold now these are the uh, super hyper rare crazy gold cards and i'm not gonna lie these look nice i have to admit coming in with the gold energies i do like the gold energy cards but uh myriadon and crylon they look good i'm not gonna lie i have to admit i i, I have to you know Give it to Pokemon. They've smashed out of the park with this artwork, especially with the new Illustrator cards. Well, I hope, in all honesty, that these aren't that easy to pull. Some might be easier than others. I'm not going to lie. We always get that with, um, you know, Galarian Gallery, Training Gallery. But yeah, these definitely look like, like full art Vs. These might be, you know, quite cool. Very similar to, I guess, like a full art Shiny from like Shining Fates and stuff like that. Really cool. Highly rate it. Uh, you know, full art trainers look nice. Illustrator cars look nice. The gold cars look absolutely amazing. Overall, I think this could be a strong base set. So first thoughts of Scarlet and Violet. It has gone better. You know, when they just showed the EX cards, I was quite vocal and said that, you know, I didn't really like them. I thought that it's a shame we're going back to EX. I want them to do something a little bit more exciting. You know, we've gone from full art Vs. You know, you've gone from Vs, which are basically full art. Full art Vs, V Maxes, crazy stuff, trainer gallery cards, alt arts, all the good stuff. They needed to do something and they have. And I'm really happy with that. The seal product are going up in price overall. I do feel like this could be a strong base set. Looking at the cards in this set compared to Sword and Shield base, this is definitely better. Good start, end of March looking strong now when the set gets closer to release we'll talk about more about the marking the value of these cards we're gonna be opening up the japanese version in february so keep an eye out for that guys but we can really see what these cards look like in the flesh before we get the english variants if you made this fun to the video guys make sure to smash the like button make sure you subscribe for more pokemon content and let me know down in the comments are you excited for scarlet and violet do you like the ex cards what do you think about the illustrated cards? I really want to know. Overall, EX is a bit of a, an interesting one, but those illustrated cards really came through, I think, big time. They look really, really nice. If you want to know what's been going on in the market right now with all the different sealed product and single card prices, then make sure to click on this video right here. And if you want to watch more Pokemon content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. That is it from me, guys, in today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, you guys are legends. And I'll see you all in the next one.